Blue part of the eraser was never meant to erase pen marks. Then, what is actual purpose? Every time you look at the pink blue eraser, it can only make you think as to what is the use of the blue side of the eraser. During childhood, it had been one of the most irritating things to see the papers getting all torn, while we'd use the blue part of the eraser. When our seniors told us that, the blue end of the eraser could help us correct our mistakes we made with our pens, it blew our naive little minds. We tried it and we all failed, miserably. Check out the reason why these blue erasers were used, and we are sure you would think that your entire childhood was a lie. Find out about the actual use of the blue side of an eraser and laugh about it, since nobody knows about its use even today. Answer to the age-old question. The blue end is meant for erasing pencil marks on heavy grades of paper or dark marks. This was because it would require you to use more force to erase it. The pink side was used for? The pink side was used for precision erasing, that could remove a light stray mark from among dark marks. Erasers work because of friction. Try rubbing your hands together right now. Do you feel them getting warmer the longer you rub? The warmth you feel is the heat generated by the force of friction, created by the rough surfaces of your hands rubbing together. Erasers were invented by accident. Though Joseph Priestley may have discovered rubber's erasing properties, it's the English engineer Edward Nairn, who is generally credited with developing and marketing the first rubber eraser in Europe. And Nairn claimed to have come upon his invention accidentally. He inadvertently picked up a piece of rubber instead of breadcrumbs, he said, thereby realizing rubber's erasing properties. So, do not worry, we all have been fooled by this great legend, blue-pink eraser.